this is the dummy in the rough and just trialing a different angle um, and I'm looking at just keeping one specific angle for while I'm kitting up um, let me know if you like this angle um, I believe this might cover a little bit more you might see a bit more um, one with the overhead and one with obviously this one to that direction there <laughs> this one <laughs> um, I'm kitting up Open the Wings by Yishu Wang from Dime Moon Shop. This is a, a 30 by 38. So because it's one of the, the smaller ones, I didn't want to turn around and put it into storage containers and then into bags because this one's going to be done pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kit up directly into the storage bags. Excuse me, I'm yawning already. Okay, sit down, diamond paint, put the hit the record button, and off I go. Start yawning. Um, yeah, so this is a thirty by thirty-eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kit up as if I'm going to straight into storage bags because this is going to be a reasonably quick one to do. Um, yeah. So diamond shop when they package their drills, they do such a great job that they package them in DMC order and when I actually put them back in the bags I have the ability to put them back in DMC order so look at those colours there's some actually pretty colours in there some nice purples um, so this is the first one where I want to get the I want to try and work towards getting all of the the issuing um, all of her diamond paintings and pop them into a portfolio because I reckon they're just just adorable she's she's an absolute sweetie um, I did get this one as a 30 by 38 I want to see how it goes uh, if the size is right um, I'll just continue to go 30 by 38 so these these little girls otherwise I might have to go a size one size up we'll see how we go but my usual kidding well my usual storage is um, for drills, for round drills, is I kit up with a card with the where I got the diamond painting from and then I put the DMC number on. So what I have done is I have labelled up, I've used my Dymo label maker uh, and I'm going to just kit up as if I was store, putting into storage. I am not going to be putting the symbols on these. Um, I'm going to try and work without the, the symbols, just the DMC code. I reckon I'll be okay to do it. I think I've been diamond painting long enough that I can get away with not having to use the symbols on the actual um, bags. So yeah, I'm going to do this tad fast. So I'll speed this process up and get back to you once I've labelled up and i'll probably start drilling as well so enjoy the music while i kit up
all kitted up and for, for a 30 by 38 to have 40 colors it's pretty impressive now i did use the box for my empty bags which i've been able to put into up here into there so that can go straight in the bin I have a simple little tray where these are in DMC order. Now all I need to do with for a simple kit up is now I just drill. Um, I don't have, as I said before, there is no um, symbols on this. But I do believe for the size it is, I, um, I won't need to use the symbols because the plan that I've got is to try and work with uh, one colour at a time. So one symbol at a time. That's my initial plan. We'll see how we go. Um, what I am looking at doing, I will now turn around and just change the camera. Because I'm going to get to and just place some drills on this. Um, just to get us started because you know once I, I like to kit up and just do a little bit um, to really see what it, what their canvas is like um, so yeah I will run back with this different angle okay guys I've mucked around and hopefully this is a okay setting I think I going to wobble too much but let's see how we go I am going to start on what I'm going to do is work on the darker colors because they're easier to spot initially which okay nine three nine So the plan is to work on the darker colours. Oops, that's maybe a smaller magnet. Okay. Um, now, what I've just put out, what you can see there, is actually uh, a drill tray, drill tray that I have made. Um, You'll see that that magnet is really strong. It all depends on what magnets I use on how strong it is. But that's a really, really, really strong magnet. Whoops. <laughs> and when it clicks into place, they pop every now and then. But I've got no chance of knocking that over. And also works as a cover minder. And I will learn to be gentle with that. Um... I'm looking for my drill pen. Where did I put my standard drill pen? Oh well. Put my drill pen down somewhere and I can't find it. Sorry if I'm bumping that camera. You're kidding me. Mm. Oh well. Normally lives on my desk. We'll find it eventually, I suppose. Okay, so it's okay. I still have a drill pen. We all have drill, spare drill pens. So initially, I'm working on the A's, which is one of the dark colours, which is a nine three nine. So this is a round. I think I've mentioned all of this, um, but this is also to help showcase what I am looking at um, making available for people to purchase off of me. The drill tray, I'm also doing, working on matching. Yeah, I've got a bit of wax on the end there. There we go. Uh, I'm looking at doing matching drill trays and, well, not looking at because I have done it. Drill trays and um, trash trays and wax caddies, all as cover minders and doing them as sets. So yeah, just something that I've worked with. I will pause here, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is actually not quite, the camera above is not quite focusing. Let's see if I can 
fix that up for you guys there we go so what i've got here this is actually what i did have is this drill tray so this is my very first drill tray i've made this one here <laughs> that's a very strong magnet under there um okay this one's actually being packaged off to a youtuber um, so you will highly likely see this one in use probably not with the same magnet on the back this one here i've done like i you can roll your wax let's get there okay and put the wax in so this is a drag and this is wax caddy and trash tray or there's a magnet under there i know there's a that's oh, around the wrong way there we go or this is actually the a matching set if i haven't got that stuck i haven't got a magnet under that one but these are three are matching set so you can have the trash tray your wax caddy and your drill tray um, and you don't have to hang on I'll put a magnet under that one so you can see so it's not a case if you have to have them all at to do as cover minders but you can have them where you're not going to knock them over um, one of the things that I have found is I, being a klutz I am constantly knocking over my drill tray and this just slides along and keep the magnet underneath it and just slides around okay I've got the magnet under here is too strong the magnet under here is actually goes to this caddy the magnet under there is actually too strong for that one which is why I am struggling with it. So just hang on, I'll go back to this. Okay, and you can see that's a softer magnet on that, that one there. But um, yeah, I'm trialing a few different styles of drill tray. Um, well, I will be. I've been trying to do the, the big tray the one that you know the one that's probably about that big in comparison um, I have been working on that I haven't I've had semi success on it so just to watch this space in relation to those um, but these three are actually going to be shipped off I will show something you will see on the drill trays there is little holes at the top um, I'm working on stopping those little holes but I will if you are interested those holes are actually air bubbles um, that get trapped when you pour the resin uh, I have two well I have more than two I have a couple of different types of resin I use but the basis of the resin, one is UV resin and one is um, two-part epoxy resin. Uh, one takes you know, about 24 hours to set. Uh, the other, well, it sets pretty quickly under a UV light. You're looking at it setting about half an hour uh, or putting it out in the sunlight and probably, well, depends on what country you're on and how well the um, sun um how well the sun sets it uh, gets it to set if you're in a country where there's not much sun okay, I'm just moving these magnets uh it's going to take longer to set but as a cover minder jewel tray you don't mm, come on glue's pretty good on this one uh, the, the knocking over and the ability to move your drill tray around is good and also work as a cover minder so you don't need to hold the, re the clear cover down and you don't need to hold your drill tray down I am working on creating a drill tray for 
an easel where it's angled up. So yeah, just watch this space. I've dropped some drill a drill where I didn't need to. So just I will say if you are interested um, at the moment I've sent uh, some simple cover minders out um, and I've got another well I'm sending out three boxes next week that I was supposed to send out this week but um, due to a few other commitments I haven't been able to one of those being I'm on night shift tonight so basically I'm on night shift until uh, the end of this week and then yeah my ability to get to the shops is pretty pretty hard to do when I am on night shift because I'm generally only up and out of bed for about three hours um, on swing night which is what tonight is okay here we go How good is that? Ah, okay. So yeah, I'm only looking, yeah, so I've just been delayed due to uh, my work pattern. And because I kept having these ideas of what I wanted to do, um, and one of those was doing the massive, the big drill tray, um, which it took me I think four days all up to try and establish that it just wasn't going to work and that's because the drill trays that I was using doing with UV resin the other was doing with the epoxy resin so the epoxy resin takes obviously you know 24 hours to set to be able to take it out of the mold it takes 72 hours to set fully to see whether the sides were going to be stiff enough um, so yeah it was just a case of I wanted to try and send this send this big one out because the YouTuber that I am sending one of these boxes to she uses that same tray that I'm trying to create so which you know I thought yeah I wanted to make it for her so that then she could give it a go but not to be I have to recast and make the mold um, and then do the you know pour it and get it to set for 24 hours in the mold and then um, then obviously 24 hours to set in the mold and 72 hours for it to be set fully where I can test it and try it and make sure it is going to work uh, so it's a learning it's a learning but yeah the big trays would be nice to have if you could do it like this because it's just makes it so much easier to have it where it's you're not knocking it over and you know it's working as a cover minder well you are seeing me do this to put these drills down come on So there we go, I will leave that there guys. I will say thank you for watching. Hopefully you uh, liked what I've done with the kitting up. Now with that kitting up, it's obviously in the simplest of forms because the drills were in single bags, made it really easy because I had the drills in DMC order yet again made it easy um, you know, we all have our ways on how we like to receive our diamond paintings um, and how we like to receive our drills 
um, I will say if that was in a strip of um, drills it would probably take longer but it wasn't too bad of a process it was pretty quick to do considering it was 40 colors <laughs> uh, yeah 40 colors on a 30 by 38 or 30 by 40 basically um, I've got all the A's from there I think so So this is actually a good way to show how um, how this drill tray <laughs> works really well um, for whether you are you work top down or bottom up. Um, obviously, I'm a top down person. Um, and yet yeah, these are. So this will work on the opaque covers. Where's that magnet? There we go. This will work on the opaque covers as well. Um, I do, obviously, as you see, I do try them out. I want to make sure that the magnet is um, good enough to go on there. Um, yeah, the process of narrowing down the right magnets has been fun as well. Um, some magnets are way too thick, some magnets are way too thin and then don't make them strong, they're not strong enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think I actually have all of the A's done. I'm just going to pop that cover on, get my magnifying glass out because I... I find that the magnifying glass helps me pick up any extras. That's because I'm not wearing glasses. The The symbols are so clear on this I don't need the light pad underneath. And the light pad underneath won't make any difference to um, what I'm doing now. We all miss hang on, a bit of silence while I'm doing this. We all know that we miss symbols. Just the light on top down here. Alright, so I've got all the A's, or I believe I've got all the A's. Yay! <laughs> That's one colour done. 39 to go. We'll see how it goes. So guys, I will work on this one um, wholly and solely on camera. Um, whether I do it, excuse me, as a time lapse, um, see how we go. But um, I'll just lift that up. You will see I can lift that up and actually turn it upside down and that's staying on there with that magnet. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting process. So guys, yeah, sorry, I got lost in the picture. I will talk to you later. Um, stay tuned for more... Um, well, more videos. Um, uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the different cover minders that I've got there. Is it something you'd be interested in? Um, I do have my own personal web page. I am looking at the site, putting them on sale on the personal website and making PayPal available. Um, so I'm managing that completely by myself. And um, so, yeah, yeah. Put a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button because if you don't hit the subscribe button, you can't hit the bell. So if you subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified of um, 
sorry, neighbour's baby in the backyard somewhere. Um, yeah, hit the bell button so you're notified of when I actually do go ahead and upload some videos. These are, my videos are pretty sporadic. Um, you will find I might release a couple of videos, you know, one a day. I might release a couple in one day or you might find that there's a few days or a week that I don't do a video and that's all just because of uh, work. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.